All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Uh, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not going to make this video too long, but it's just going to be another, you know, Bible talk, man. All right. I, I for, first wanted to, you know, start off with uh, with saying this, man. Yeah, recently, you know, I, I made a statement, you know, in a video before, man, that what I usually like to do is, you know, start my mornings off by playing a couple, you know, scratch off tickets, man. I will right, well, anyway, long story short, um, you know, this week I was playing, I believe it was probably... I want to say Thursday night or something. I was playing. Um, I want to say ten bucks on the um the Lotteria tickets. I was playing the three dollar um Lotteria uh, scratch off tickets, and I actually won five hundred dollars, man. It's like damn, it was the most I've ever won, won on everything, man. Five hundred bucks, damn. All right, which is the second top prize. The top prize is I believe. Yeah, 30000 but then the second top prize is 500 As I said, man, that ain't bad for a $3 lottery ticket, man. It's like, damn, all right? They got lucky there, man. But anyway, you know, just yesterday I was, you know, I was going to Walmart because what I had in mind is, um, you know, I wanted to make myself a, uh, may I use the term T-shirt garment, all right, which... You know, you'll always, we'll see what that looks like when it's completed, but, um, you know, I went to Walmart to pick up the shirts, you know, to, uh, to do it. So I did the research. I found out they have them. So I went to Walmart to get it. I had them in my hand, but then I was looking, you know, at a bin that I needed to get because I've been waiting to get one for an entire year. But every time I went, they didn't have them. But there's one time I went, they had them. So I check, you know, to make sure I have enough money to cover, you know, all three items that I'm getting. Um, which the third item was, uh, you know, Mountain Dew or something like that. Um, the new uh, 4th of July pack. But anyway, it's not important. Um, so I had enough for them, right? So as I'm, you know, looking at the, the bin I wanted to get, you know, because I had another person there. I was talking with them, you know, a few minutes about it. So we ended up walking off because they needed to see sun. So I'm carrying the bin in one hand, and and he's carrying the uh, you know the soda. And I'm thinking to myself, well, damn, we only, you know, damn, we only got two items, right? Didn't think anything of it at the time, right? Um, but that you know, we check out, you know, halfway home, I was like, oh shit, I forgot the shirts. I put them down on the shelf so I could pick up the bin I was looking at, but I completely forgot to grab them again. It's like, damn, the only thing, how ironic is that? I went to the store to get one thing, but somehow I ended up coming home with, with everything except the one thing I came to get. I can't be the only one that's happened to before. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, so that's that. I was, you know, looking forward to start that project today. But, you know, of course, because it's my luck, going to have to put it off a couple days, um, you know, until I can get back down there, you know, pick it up again. Um... But anyway, man, you know, outside of that, right, looking, you know, forward past that, you know, looking at, um, you know, what's going on in the news right now, man. Right, you can clearly see, man, this place, you know, America, you know, Babylon the Great, this place is done, man. And I know we speak about this every week, but, you know, we sound like a broken record. But hey, man, you know, the scriptures say what? That the spirit of Right, that the testimony of Jesus, right, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's what we're doing, man. Right, we're out here, you know, constantly, you know, prophesying, man. Right, because that's our main, you know, may I say, topic, you know, what we are to speak about, man, is prophecy. Because I'll quote the scripture again, that's Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. It says that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, right? So we're in the spirit of prophecy, man. And that just shows that a lot of you Christians, man, are full of shit because you guys ain't no shit about uh, prophecy, man. I mean, hell, I can't remember, you know, any time that I went to, um, you know, so-called, you know, church where they've actually spoke anything about, you know, prophecy. It's almost always, you know, about you know, a feel-good speech or, you know, trying to sell some type of financial, you know, product. 
And I'm not even being sarcastic. I've been to some of those before. Right? You know, be damned, you know. Uh, regular service. But halfway through, they turned it into an advertising for, um, you know, Dave Ramsey's new, you know, financial guide or something like that. <laughs> and I'm not even being sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, man. And, and you know how it is, man. You say, for an example, right? You know, my mom bought one, which they were like, what, 70 bucks for it? And guess what? It's still sitting on the shelf in a damn plastic Cayman. Hey, right? shit was never used. Here we are three years later. All right, so it just shows you, man. All right? And that's, uh, what is that called? That's called, I believe the term is uh, impulse buying. And I've suffered from that before. We've all have, man, where you, uh, you know, make purchases without really thinking about it. Okay, like some people might buy, you know, new cars without thinking, oh, shit, well, am I going to be able to, you know, pay the, uh, you know, the bill every month, you know, the car payment every month for this thing for the next, you know, 15 years. All right, it's like, why the hell would one want to spend, you know, 25000 40000 $50,000 on a brand new car? You know, if you could just go get one used for, you know, a fraction of the price. Now, I mean, you know, if you're, you know, you got money like, uh, you know, Bill Gates, you know, Mr. Beast or, you know, uh, uh, Ben Mala, just to name a couple, you know, higher ups of the society, then I suppose, you know, then go for it. But I mean, hell, man, if you're, you know, an average Jake here, man, you know, average person here, then, you know, you ain't got no business, you know, spending that type of money on a brand new vehicle. It just doesn't make any sense. Unless you got money, all right? But, you know, our people don't think, right? Our people just don't think, you know, about things before they do them. All right? <laughs> you know, like, damn, man. But anyway, you know, getting back into, you know, what I was saying earlier, man, about, you know, looking at this place, man. I mean, hell, you know, everywhere you go, man, all right? Everywhere you go, you can see it, man. You can see the, may I use the word, uh, desperation, financial desperation right you can see it man all right they're everywhere everybody is struggling man all right you can see it this place isn't you know what it used to be man because if you do you know your research you know talk to people who've maybe lived let's say from the 50s you know 60s or 70s and even you know read books or you know may i say documentaries or you know whatever you know from that time period you know, of American history, well, you can see that, yeah, back then, that was, that was the climax of America, man, that was the time of, uh, what would be the word to use, I believe the correct word would be decadence, which basically means the, um, you know, the, uh, may we say the golden time, or the golden age of an empire, man, which all empires have them, right, so America's golden age was, um, you know, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, man, all right, going by, you know, history and, you know, the information we have about the era in time, okay? But now, man, I mean, hell, you know, America, it's very clear, man, that this place is going down, man. So if you cats out there, if you can't see it, man, then you don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right, if you can't see that America, you know, Babylon the Great is done with, well, then, then you don't know to skip cheese. It's just that simple, man. And I know certain cats in the world, man, or I know certain guys you know, so-called, you know, preachers, you know, they're in my family that, you know, I've, you know, talked to them about certain things before, you know, like this and, you know, the whole, you know, response about it is all, well, you know, we're not, we're not in the end times, you know, now people have been saying that for hundreds of years. So what makes it any different now, which on the outside, that seems like a very valid argument. I'll give them that. With that being said, once you, you know, do more research into the subjects, you can clearly see yeah, I mean, I mean, hell, what other time in human history did you have everything that we see going on, going on at the exact same time, man? Like, yeah, there, you know, for our history, there's always been, you know, earthquakes, you know, wars, you know, all this stuff has happened. Absolutely true. But it never happened as we're seeing it right now, man, in the last two years. All right. So, I mean, I should tell you something. But, you know, some guys are just, you know, um, they just can't get it, man. And, you know. That's that's all right because this isn't meant for you to get it. Okay, hey, if you can't get it, just as uh, Elder Apostle Har said, hey, if you can't get it, we're moving on, right? If you can't get it, well, hey, that's on you. All right, if you can't get it, well, you know, 
go over it maybe one or two more times with you. But if you still can't get it, well, you know what? Then we're moving on. It's that simple. All right? We don't got time right now to, you know, really, you know, sit down with every single person and, you know, go back and forth about these things. It's either, hey, you get it or you don't. It's that simple, my man. All right? So, you know, anyway, brothers, you know, that'll, you know, wrap up this Bible talk here. I just want to, you know, share a few faults uh, this morning. But, uh, we, you know, anyway, with that being said, I'll praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, for this truth that I'm going to say Shalom.